Sheesh. Sheesh. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ayana, for those of you who do not know me. And today, y'all, we're going to be having a serious conversation. <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard for me to say serious conversation without laughing. But we are going to be having a serious conversation while I bead. Y'all, I don't know what this is on here, so... Yeah, I don't know what that is. But I am making me some new waist beads, right? So I had to build myself a little section back here. So because I really wanted to make some new waist beads. Um, I want to cut all of my old ones off and I want to start fresh with a brand new set. I'll do another video like explaining why I'm doing it and stuff like that. But today we're going to be having a conversation, right? About... It is a story time, and then I'm going to go off of that story and have a conversation with y'all, a serious one, right? So, let's jump straight into it. So, basically, my, by the way, this is my, um, these are the one the strands I made. One of the, These are one of the strands I made for my new set. These are made with Chazette Gold Glassy Beads. These are size 6 over 0. They're also available on my website if you are interested. They are beautiful. Okay. But anyway, right, so let's get into the story time. So this story is going to be about um, this female, right? And since if you're watching this, yes, you made it to my YouTube channel because I'm going to use you as an example. So I hope you're watching this and I hope you're watching to learn and to listen and not just to react, right? So, uh, first of all, y'all, I don't know what kind of way speed I'm doing, but I'm about to figure it out. Um, so what happened? All right, so this girl had DM'd me, right, on Instagram. Mind y'all, so this is not part of the gang. Y'all know, y'all the gang. All right. <laughs> First of all, I need some motion on. But this is not part of the gang, right? And, um, when she first DM'd me, I'm open to advice. Let's just start there right there. I'm open to advice. I have no problem with accepting, advice, like, you know, criticism or anything like that. I have no problem with it. But I feel as though when you, if you don't know me, then who are you to give me advice, right? So let me tell y'all the story. First, I'm going to read y'all the messages, okay? And then I'm going to tell y'all how I feel about it, all right? So, sis sent me a DM, right? She said, did I find the DM? Oh, I thought she deleted it. She said... Hey love, your page came up and I love your website. I'm also in the waist speed business and it seems like we have the same vendor, LOL. I just wanted to keep some, I just wanted to say, keep some things very tight secret until you can't hold it anymore. What we have is such a beautiful privilege and right now is worth gold. So many people want to know how the beads are made and where and what kind of string is used. I hope you don't take this the wrong way. But right now, being in a bead business is like how Kylie Jenner came out with Kylie Cosmetics. She wasn't the one, she wasn't the only one with a cosmetic game, but she came out with the A1 product and became a millionaire to a billionaire. And she will never tell her ingredients either, LOL. Once everyone can get them and, be, and make them a business, wait, hold on, let me, once everyone can get them and make them business, she, she's not using the punctuation, so that's not my fault. She said, once everyone can get them and make them, business will go down drastically. Shein offers, has them on their website, and once Walmart figures out how to make, <laughs> once Walmart figures out how to make them, the B business will be done. So again, I'm sorry if it comes all wrong because I do admire your work. Sorry to bother, right? So let me tell y'all, right? At first, when I first read the message, I thought like, because it took me a couple of days to respond to the message. So I'm like, at first, when I first seen it, I'm like, you know, maybe she's just saying, you know, like to keep the information exclusive a little bit, like maybe limited or whatever, you know, but let, let me just finish reading y'all the messages. So this is what I said. I said, hey, I get where you're coming from. Let me ask you this. How would that affect us if more women had the proper method to start their own business? She said, hey, good question, but I, why do you? She said, hey, with a heart, this, I'm about to tell y'all why y'all got to watch 
I'm, I'm gonna tell you my opinion on all of these messages, right? She said, hey, good question, but honestly, I know that the products that I have didn't come easy and were very hard to find. And it can get deeper as far as shipping and making sure that the packages are received. So with that being said, I'm not worried about other women, other business women, and I'm definitely not handing them my bread and butter. I guess that's where we differ. This B game is so fresh and new, it's still not at its highest level. And by the time it does, they will be in Walmart. And then after that, it's no profit in selling them anymore. But by then, you should have a nice little nest to retire off of. If not, then I, then I guess you can continue to give your resources out for a very low price and watch someone else make thousands and thrive. So, I said, I'm going to be very honest with you, and hopefully you don't take this the wrong way. But the way you are thinking is coming from a scarcity mindset. I believe and know for a fact that there is enough money for all of us. We all could be selling the same exact thing, and business will not slow down at all. I also know for a fact that my customers wouldn't dare buy waste bees from Walmart. And with that being said, I also have a bee collection and I have competitors on the highest level such as Walmart, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, and more. But people still choose to buy from me. So I understand your point of view, but I do have to disagree. And let me say this also, I have helped hundreds of women all around the world start their waste bee business. And I still make a very good profit every month off of waste bees alone. I believe that me helping other women make money is the reason I make money. Nobody can take what is mine, and God wouldn't have put me in a position to do what I'm doing if one day it would run dry. She said, you have to open up your mind a bit more. So, <laughs> she said, like, literally, think outside the box and see the bigger picture of selling waste fees that you just can't get from anywhere. I said... You said it was hard to find vendors, but if you would have met someone like me when you first, if you would have met someone like me in the beginning to help speed the process, would you still think the same? So then I asked her to explain more of what she was saying about me opening my mind because maybe I was missing something, right? She said, everyone has to do their due, dil due diligence in life. And I said, I can't agree with that. She said, so she responded to me, asking her to explain more. She said, no, I'm good. Clearly, we are on two different platforms in this game. I'm also doing very well with no handouts and work very hard for what I have and continue to receive. I'm taking these bees to the next level, and I don't think that nobody's ready for it. But I wish you the best and take care. And I just said, okay, you too. Because since we ain't giving you no more energy. I mean, technically, I am giving you energy because I'm recording a video, but I am doing it for a different purpose, right? It's not to bash her and it's not to come at her, but it's just to acknowledge that mindset, that scarcity mindset that all of us, you know, at one point deal with. And if we don't have a scarcity mindset, then we most likely we have the scarcity traits. You know, you get what I'm saying? And the traits would be such as we saying like, oh, the market is oversaturated. That's a scarcity trait. That's, that's part of a scarcity mindset, right? Or thinking like... You know, if she do it, then I can't do it because it's not enough for us or it's not enough to go around or one day this is going to run out. Or if 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 a big company like Walmart gets a hold of it, then I'm out of business. Get what I'm saying? I need to make my way speed. But so that's what I want to acknowledge the scarcity mindset. But let me just go into detail a little bit about what I think about what she was saying, right? Uh, her messages. One, my thing is. The, the original message, if you wasn't coming off wrong, why did you have to apologize? Or why did you have to say, I hope this is not coming off the wrong way, if you were intended for it to come off the wrong way? And not that I took it the wrong way, but if you want to have this conversation, then let's have this conversation. Because I'm genuinely trying to understand where you're coming from. I don't, my, first of all, you don't know me. And like I said, she's not part of the game. So like, you, most likely you went, you went on my website probably did your little research on me or whatever like that but you have not been right with me from the beginning if you did you would have known that this is how basically how i started my business by helping other women so why would i stop because you asked me to and so you technically like like i'm saying she don't know me but the, my all right let me just finish going back into this right so she was saying basically when, when she lost me when she said kylie jenner made herself from a millionaire to a billionaire Kylie Jenner already had money, so we're not going to sit there and relate our, me or you or anybody else in that, fit, in that matter to Kylie Jenner. Because Kylie Jenner was a millionaire before she had a cosmetic line. She came from money. People only supported Kylie Jenner because she was popular. You get what I'm saying? 
So don't compare you. This is where I'm saying don't compare yourself to nobody else. And then she want to keep saying you, 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 you talking about me as if though she has my best interest at heart. Like, you know me, like you trying to give me advice and give me tips off of something you don't even know about. You get what I'm saying? Then she's going to say, uh, what'd she say? Oh, that once, uh, Walmart get a hold of the, the listening business is going to go down drastically. No, it's not. Because who in their right mind is going to buy waste beads from Walmart? I mean, I don't know about your customers or who you're targeting, but my target customer is damn sure not buying no waste beads from Walmart. I don't know where you got that information from, but no, nah, not happening. And uh, basically, like when she was saying like, oh, you know, uh, she's not worried about any other businesswoman and she's damn sure not giving them her their bread and butter. All of that, it's just like, you're not worried about helping other women. You're not worried. What exactly are you making a, what, what's your business exactly? Like, when, when you're selling these waste beads, what are you intending to do for other women? Like, because I feel like any any business should be solved. Like, you, I don't know. I just feel, that's just me personally. I don't think that everybody has to necessarily tell you how they started your business. I'm not saying that, but this is just what I do. Like, I'm here to help y'all. I'm here to guide y'all because this is what I would have wished that somebody would have did for me. And, you know, I don't see anything wrong with it. But we got to understand that in this business alone, let's just talk about waste business in general. The women are so competitive. The women are so competitive. And little do they know that we could literally, like, grow so much faster if we all just came together. Like, girl, I don't know you. I don't know your business name. I don't know nothing that you got going on. I don't want your clientele or, clientele or anything. I don't know what you got going on. Uh, so why do you feel, why do you feel intimidated by me? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Cause that's what I was picking up off of. Because if you genuinely wanted to help somebody or what, if I'm asking you to explain your point of view off of something and then you just like, oh no, clearly we just on two different paths. You knew that when you clicked on my stuff, you knew that. You knew we was on two different paths when you clicked on my, my uh, website or my page and you saw that I was doing something completely different from you. But yet you still got intimidated and yet you still felt the need to hop in my DMs and state your, your opinion, you know? Give me your two cents. That that wasn't worth yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to cuss, but it wasn't worth anything, right? So let's go in a little bit deeper, right? So she's saying that first of all, when she said the B game is so fresh and new, it's still not at its highest level. My whole thing is the B game is not fresh and it's not new. Baby, if you just hearing about it, I don't know what to tell you because maybe this is not the business for you. I don't know. Because the, the waste bead business, I was going to say we, <laughs> the waste bead business has been around for centuries. So what are you talking about exactly? Did you do your research for real, for real? Like maybe you should do your due diligence and don't worry about everybody else. Maybe you, maybe you should not worry about everybody else, right? So, and my whole thing is, and for you to also put in the same sentence to say, you're not worried about other women in your business. Why are you worried about me in my business? And this is why, this is why it's so important to watch who y'all take advice from. Like, really watch who y'all take advice from. If that person can't show you that they already succeeded in what you want to do, then don't, you shouldn't be taking no advice from them. Because my whole thing is, if you would have came into my deals with some receipts, like, oh, this is the, the results. I've been seeing it by doing it this way or whatever like that. Then maybe I could have just been taking your advice off of that. But for you to not even know who I am, I don't know who you are. And you coming in my DM trying to tell me to stop what I'm doing. Because your business is going to fail, is going to start dropping drastically. Once everybody else get a hold of it, it it's just like, uh, sis, no. So you want me to stop my bag so your bag can come up. Like, that don't make sense. But you're trying to make it seem like you keep putting hearts and LOLs. Like, y'all gotta really read between the lines with these people. I'm telling you. Like, people really don't, they be acting like they like got your best interest at heart. And they really don't. They only worried about themselves. So you really gotta watch them, right? So, and my whole thing is like, that's a scar. She has a very scarcity, a very bad scarcity mindset. And she don't even dig it. Like, she don't even notice it. Because you don't want to have this conversation now that I told you you have a scarcity mindset. You're going to tell me to open my mind. Are you telling me to open my mind to close it? Because don't I have an open mind? I, I mean, I would, let me know if y'all agree with me or y'all disagree with me. <laughs> let me know if y'all agree with me or disagree with me in the comments below because I really want to know. Maybe I was missing something. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe, maybe y'all feel the same that I shouldn't be helping y'all or whatever. Let me know. 
let me know because my whole thing is I've literally helped women all around the world, all around the world, in any way that I possibly could, and my business has not has yet to stop or slow down. So, yeah, I don't know what she's talking about. And then you're telling me about my retirement funds and a little nest that I should have off of baby. Told about something you could continue to give your game out uh, for for a very low price and watch someone else make thousands and thrive. You just don't understand the goal. You just don't understand the goal and you just don't understand the law of attraction or like the law of life, period. You cannot succeed at anything for a very long time if you just get worried about yourself. That That's not how they work. Me personally, I like helping people. I love helping people. I live for it, literally. So if I could help the next woman bring you know help bring her up at least to where i am you know and, and i continue to scale myself up to keep bringing her up like or, you know up a level whatever that's what i choose to do and that's what makes me happy if that don't make you happy then worry about yourself boo like what, what's wrong with you like come on now come on like we gotta stop doing it as, as women like we, we feel as though like we gotta be intimidated by the next female or feel as though like if the next woman win that that they're taking something from us but they're not they not at all. Like, it's crazy. I got to stretch my legs a little bit. So, yeah. So, let's finish going into it. So, let, right. So, she started talking about, oh, uh, how she's doing very well with her business. And, and I was just like, oh, okay, congratulations. Congratulations. But, I mean, what you could have did was DM me and ask me for help, boo. You don't got to feel intimidated by me and feel like I'm taking something from you because I'm giving out information. And then you want to let me know, oh, we use the same vendor. Or were you, okay, that's nice too. Like, what is wrong with you? I don't understand. We got to really get out of that scarcity mindset. Like, y'all, it is enough money out here for all of us. For all of us. And like I always, like I always use this, this explanation, this example, because if you ever go somewhere, you'll, you'll see it and it'll make sense to you, right? When you go to uh like y'all ever been to a plaza? I need some scissors. Y'all ever been to a plaza, right? And you'll see um you can see Dollar Tree and Dollar I say Dollar Tree and, and Family Dollar in the same plaza. Do y'all know that they, both of these stores could be right next to each other and they still wanna make over a billion dollars a year? Uh you think Family Dollar is worried that oh Dollar Tree is selling everything for a dollar and I'm selling the same product over here for ten dollars? No, because they know that they, they have a different target customer in mind. They have a, a different target customer. Like, we we not targeting the same person. So, why would I be intimidated by what you got going on over there? But people don't think like that. Yo, I'm being so ghetto. I don't feel like getting up to get scissors. So, I'm like trying to cut. Oh, it's making a mess. What am I doing? I can't even use this. But yeah, like, sis definitely um tried it, and she definitely tried me. And I just feel like, you know, I'm not mad at her because I just feel like she don't know. She definitely don't know, but that's why I wanted to make this video to bring awareness to y'all because, like, so, like you know, I definitely had that scarcity mindset before where I felt like it wasn't enough, like, especially if you grew up in poverty. If you grew up in poverty or grew up in the hood or whatever, like, you understand the scarcity mindset. Because that's kind of, that's basically how we was conditioned. But we have to literally recondition re ourselves and get that out of our head and understand that it is enough for all of us to go around. Like, there is more than enough and it's not going to run dry. Like, there's billions of people in this world. And you know how many people still don't even know about waist beads? She's clearly one of them. Like, we all do waist beads. All of us do waist beads. If you make waist beads inside of... Um, if you make waist beads or you have a waist bead business, comment waist beads below. Just comment waist beads below because I want to see how many of us is it. And we probably will look at these comments and not one of us will know the next person or know their business, right? And we all have our own clientele. And all do, could be doing well for ourselves and not nobody is taking money from the next person mouth. Okay? So that's basically what I wanted to talk about. Um, I didn't get to do my waist beads because like, I, have, I wasn't really worried about it. And I need scissors, so I'm kind of boxing in here, as you can see. But I do want this video to be uh, as short as possible. 
I don't want to make it too long, but I just want to share the story time with y'all and just let y'all know, like, listen, don't if you if you want to start a waste feed business and you feel as though the market is oversaturated or like everybody is making waste feeds or you're not gonna be able to, to prosper in a business because you know somebody else that's doing it. You you want to get into it, but your cousin do it too, and you don't want to feel like you doing Joe or whatever. Like whatever the case is, right? Get that out your head. Get it out your head. This is the last week that my vendors list is going to be fifty percent off, and I want you to take advantage of that. And I want you to click the link below or go to charmingt.com and get that vendors list and start your businesses. Even if you got to go on my site and get your materials, I have beaten kits, I have the thread. Everybody, that's another thing. This market is so competitive to the point that everybody want to be like, like they don't want to share the thread that they use. They don't want to share the materials that they use. They don't want to share their, share their vendor, vendors or whatever like that. And that's all fine. You don't have to at all. Like you don't have to. Um, but my whole, my question to you is how is it going to hurt you if you do? Do you really think that every woman wants to make waste beads? How is it going to help you by improving that, that next woman business, by helping her improve her business? How is it going to, how is it going to break you? Like, how, how, really, like, I want to know, how do you think that that's going to affect you? It ain't like she asking you for your contact list to see who you selling to so she can come sell to you, sell to your customers. She's not asking you for any of that. She just asking you for some advice. We gotta get that out of our heads. Like we need like a sisterhood. First of all, I feel as though waste these periods should already put you inside that sisterhood and we should all just come together and share tips and tricks or whatever that we do. And I mean that's just how I feel. And if, if the other people is not gonna do it, y'all, this is a safe place and I don't mind sharing information with y'all. Yes, I do value my time and I expect for y'all to value my time, but because but I do offer one on one sessions where uh we could, you know, talk via Zoom. I put that link below too. And you know, if you have any questions or if you need any guidance or any advice with the business or whatever, click the link below, schedule one-on-one -on -one and, and we could talk because I don't have time. Listen, I don't have time for that. We we you know how much how happier we will all be if we all could just be making making our money and you like come on y'all. Come on y'all, the world would be a way better place. But no, we, we got we feel as though we got to withhold information and oh, it's so sacred. It's so sacred. First of all, the ones that be saying is sacred and maybe one of I don't want to tell what string I use. Yo, they only probably using like fishing line or something. They ain't using nothing special. They not using anything special. I promise you. And then don't even worry about. And if you want to know, let me give y'all another secret. Right, this one be the biggest one right here since they want to hide what they do. Go ahead and support their business, buy their waste bead from them, take the bees off the string, look at the string, take it to the store, and ask them, can you get that string? Now you got their, now you got the golden secret. Like, people be tripping. I mean, it's, there's always a way. And then they want to tell people how lazy they are for not wanting to do the, the information, how lazy. Some people would just rather pay you and, and get the information flat out, you know? Everybody don't have time to be doing. Everybody don't have don't have to do it. Like just because you did it, you you got the blueprint. Sell your blueprint if you have to. But like, what the hell? Excuse me. I don't get it. I mean, I like I, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it is necessarily wrong for them not to want to share their methods or whatever like that. It's not wrong. It's just how they come about it. Like, why are you coming about it like that? Like. Like somebody trying to steal your business or somebody trying to come after you or something like that. Like, uh, girl, please, please. Like, uh-uh. You will be getting way further in life if you help somebody else get further in life, period. Period. So, and like, like, let me tell y'all this too. We be thinking that we need a perfect thread or we need a perfect string or whatever to to make like the perfect waste bead there is no such thing as perfect waste bead they all pop all of them pop no waste bead is inevitable no waste bead is they all pop they all made with the same concept they all is it's not rocket science is is i'm telling i promise you it's not rocket science i promise you it's not 
It's not. Just come up with your own method. And, and that's that. But like I said, if y'all want to shop beaded material, I have beaded materials. I have waist beads. I got the thread, y'all. I got every goddamn thing that you need to start your business. The vendors. Wholesale vendors. Like, where you're getting bulks of beads for a fraction of the cost. Whatever you need. If you need help with literally anything business related, schedule your one-on-one. -on -one. I got y'all. If they don't, I do. So, and I'm like I said, I'm not stopping my business for nobody. I'm not changing who I am for nobody. I don't give a f how you feel about it. I don't care if you feel as though your business is going to fail. If you feel as though your business is going to fail 10 times out of 10, you are right. Whatever you believe, you're right. But don't miss me with the bullshit, okay? And don't come in my DMs if you're not looking for help. Don't come in my DMs if you're not trying to help me. Uh, Genuinely. Um, other than that, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and tell me what y'all think. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm right. Whatever y'all feel. Share y'all opinion down below. <laughs> and yeah, just make sure y'all subscribe, okay? Because we only wrote to 10K. I need to get to 10K in like 30 days. Um, But yeah, let me know what y'all think. And thank you so much for all the support. I really do genuinely appreciate every single last one of y'all who are part of the game, period. And uh, yeah. I'm going to end this, y'all, because I'm going to use it verbally. But, yes, I, like I said, I love y'all. Click the link below, and I will see y'all in the next video.